Well, good morning. This is Hiro again. We're looking at the big Hinoki Cypress that we did about four months ago. Uh, as a kind of a recap, this was in a big 15 gallon and quite heavy. So I got it down to this squat five. It was kind of a dangerous move to have reduced it that much so I had it in a well protected area and now I think I'm gonna go to the next step this one has very good lines but it tends to be kinda of all on top so what I was trying to do is to bring these branches down so that we could bring our uh, focus back onto our line. So that's what the strings are for. So first thing what I'll do is to take those string off and see if they have done their duty. Well, I took off the strings and it looks like it's holding. You know, when you use the string, you wanna pull it slightly more than where you want because there's a natural tendency for it to spring back but I think it did what I wanted to do so so I'm gonna try to see if I could pull this down right in here see that way you could still see the line but then it helps to bring the focus back in if you have all the green up here you have interest and interest over here when you want to kind of blend it all together right so anyway I could see that happening and then I'm going to start to thin out a little bit like this one here uh, it came in too many directions so we want to go this this direction if I take it off here this one will do that without having to apply more string or actually I could maybe here something like that anyway I'll go ahead and get started okay well there's a whole lot of branches in here so what we want to do is to start eliminating some and then eventually have only one or two but we don't have to do all this at one time so we want this and then this one will come down right so well, the main thing I wanted to accomplish from the last time was keep this alive. So I did put it in a well-protected area with like an 80% shade and overhead sprinkling so that uh, there was high humidity and well-protected. Well, you know, around here, it could get quite hot actually it did uh it got up to not quite 110 but 106 108 i think and those would have been brutal on uh, something that was uh well it was stressed out because of what i had to do right to cut the root ball down to about one fourth of the size that it was Now, we're in the middle of August, and then we, well, actually we're in the tail end of one of a, a very unusual uh, weather pattern. We just went through a storm, part of the hurricane that normally doesn't happen on the our state. I think the last time we had this condition was before I was born. It feels a little muggy today. I was waiting for rain, but we only have a trace so far. Maybe we'll get some more later in the day, but I think the storm is almost over. Uh, they're cleaning up in uh, the deserts, you know, like Palm Springs, Las Vegas, uh, San Bernardino, that area and uh, it looks like from the the weather reports i'm watching on tv uh, it's quite a mess the the mus mudslides and things like that 
Okay, so I still got a few more things to clean up up there. But anyway, uh, so after I get through with this, I'm going to move it out of the 80% shade into 50 area because, well, we still have heat coming. We don't know when it will uh, be permanently cool. Well, you know, it's been changing so that before I used to say, well, by the time we get to month of this and that, we could do this and that. But now we can't because it gets hot early, sometimes it lingers, and it gets cold early or whatever. Anyway, it's really getting to be difficult to predict. Um, anyway, so this will go into 50% uh, and probably individually watered at least until we get to the true fall. I don't think there's going to be a problem with the cold. They'll take the freeze. Well, our freeze is nothing like, you know, some of you like living in Chicago. You guys got a freeze that is a freeze. Around here, it just gets kind of cold compared to uh, you guys. So anyway, uh, yeah. And the main thing is, I want to start to get this nicely done, but I want to keep it alive too. Hey, I restrung these. Well, what I see is this part coming together, right? Now, if I take the wire, I could be more precise, but so far there's no indication of um, wire damage, so I'm just going to do this and then make it go this way, right? Now, this is not the finish. Like, this was already in a bonsai pot. I would consider the wire. But, no, we still got a few years of training left on this thing yet. It seems a little heavy on top, but not bad. Uh, so, what I did not do is to fertilize this. And so, when it's under stress, uh, when, you know, cut the roots like that and things like that uh, you should not feed it at least for a month well it's been four months and uh, now that it, I know for sure it has survived I'm going to try to get it to thrive by adding fertilizer and making it grow and then trim and making it grow and trim that's how you end up with a good material but I think I'm uh, well let me trim a little bit up on top. I see a little bit heaviness. Yeah, this part here felt a little heavy to me, so I shall, oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here that don't need to be. So I'll go ahead and clean that up and then put it back, still in a fairly well protected area. Well, this one may be okay to go, but I don't have to do it today. So I'll just go ahead and leave it. So in another year to two, I think you'll be in a container, a bonsai container that will be half this depth. I got the feeling it might be good in a round pot. So this has been the dwarf Hinoki cypress that uh, I did the major work about three, four years ago. Then it was sort of neglected, so it didn't make much progress. So if you go back three, four years, you'll see it uh, being taken down from a big, healthy Niwaki type and then into uh, kind of a sparse looking uh, tree. And then about Four months ago, I took it out of the big container and then put it into this one here. But I felt that it was under stress, so I put it in 
uh, 80% shade with overhead sprinkling so that it got plenty of humidity and protection from the sun. So anyway, we're in the middle of August. It's still got some heat coming, so it'll be in uh, decent protection, at least 50% uh, protection and then individually watered. And like I was saying, I will fertilize this because we want a lot of growth so that we could get to the finish. See you again real soon in another chapter. Thank you for watching.